Guys, I am super excited to be doing things with the Tesla, for the Tesla, adding stuff to my YouTube channel. And as we know, this is like a photography channel, but I do a lot of photography unboxings, tech stuff, and um, this kind of helps. So it's been nice. So um, I recently bought a Tesla X 2020. I've had it for less than a week now. And I'm starting to do my unboxings. I'm starting to kind of put things together and figure things out. And I'm making a lot of uh, videos of things that maybe I couldn't find online or answers that I couldn't find. So I had to go and find the way to find them. And um, so I want to do that. So the first video that we're going to do is where uh, I needed a way to somehow mount my camera. Right now, my camera is actually just sitting on top of the dash of um, my Model X, which is fine, right? But... Um, if I'm driving, it's going to do this and we don't want that. So i um, kind of doing some research and being a little skeptical. This is what I normally use to mount my camera on things, vlogging, selfie. Uh, it's a switch pod and this is amazing. So nothing's ever going to change with this bad boy. I love this thing. So you can go from boom to this. And I did a whole unboxing and a video on it. Uh, just look up switch pod on my channel. But today we're going to be unboxing and I accidentally opened the box while I was bringing it in here of the Fat Gecko dual mount suction. Uh, and we're going to um, unbox that right now. Back to the channel my name is jeremy with jeremy lou photography guys if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing video helps you anyway give it a thumbs up click that bell for notifications it'll just tell you every time i come on guys i want to apologize first off by the quality of this video i am inside my tesla we're about to go to virginia city to hang out we live in uh, sparks nevada so virginia city is kind of this epic place it's been smoky shoots have been rescheduling things have been happening so today i just wanted to get out but i have a bunch of videos i want to film for you guys um so this thing is actually going to be amazing uh, this is uh, the Fat Gecko uh, dual mount, impossible shots made possible. So guys, this is basically your, your basic um, suction cup that will suction to walls, to flat surfaces, like non-porous surfaces, to the side of your car if you dare to do that. Um, so when you're driving at these cool epic shots, they make it in a dual mount and a triple mount. Um, I got the dual mount because that's really all I need. So the unboxing is pretty simple, guys. Um, so I ordered this from Action Camera, a local camera shop in my town. They actually had it for $10 cheaper than everywhere else. Um, and it's pretty simple. So the, the box, it just comes with the box. And then it comes with the little instructions here. But we'll kind of go through it. It's just a suction cup. It also comes with a cold shoe mount um, that has a 3 8 thread that will go on top here. This is a, I won't need this for this. But it's kind of cool to have in your bag just in case you do have it for something. Maybe uh, just a quick little... Um, a speed light holder or something like that. So that comes with that. So guys, it's pretty simple. It does look very phallic when you look at it at first. And if you guys don't know what phallic means, look it up. But it looks like a, um, you know, a thing. It looks like a thing. And it has two different, two different movements. So we're going to start from top to bottom because that's what you do in this situation, right? So it has our mount here. So this goes on your camera. How I'm going to mount it is it's going to go upside down and my camera is going to film this way. So I need it strong enough to hold my camera. I'm using the Sony Ace, uh, Sony, not Sony, the, uh, the Canon M50 is what I use for this. My vlogging is the, or my uh, webcam is the Sony. Um, has a cool little Delkin branding on the side, which is all kind of nice to have. So this just loosens and tightens. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, it goes in a 180 degrees. Um, and then this is a ball mount, so it'll actually turn as well. So once it's on, you just loosen it, turn it. Um, it doesn't go all angles, which is, which is fine. And then down here is actually the same thing. It's a ball angle. It'll move left and right. It'll kind of turn wherever. Um, this middle joint right here um, looks like, yeah, I can turn it as well. So it's on a ball. Uh, so quite a bit of movement, guys. So if you put it somewhere, you kind of mount it on your ceiling. You can kind of move it wherever you need to move it. Um, the suction works pretty well, so um, I'm going to show you guys the suction here in a second, but let me just kind of uh, preface this by saying anytime you guys put your camera on, do a little test, put your hand underneath before you let it go. Even though this is very, very strong, it's one of those things. So I'm going to put it up here, kind of where I would put it. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of guess. Um, so how it works is there's a button right here that says press, 
And if you guys haven't suctioned before, basically you suction, and then once it's on, you can actually pull this little lever, and then it pulls it back. And that suction will suction onto the wall, right? So we're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna put it right, let's do it. That's where you guys can kind of see me, I don't know. I'm gonna do this. Ooh, maybe, maybe here, I'll do it here. I'll do it here. All right, cool. Press, pull, oh God, didn't happen. Oh, I didn't press good enough. Press, so I press, I'm pressing it all the way in and I just do that little tab. This is just one, it's on there. This is just one. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, it doesn't really leave a residue on there. Um, I just got my windows tinted two days ago. I shouldn't have done that. Luckily it's fine, but holy crap, that scared me for a second. So let's get this up here. I'm just gonna do one to show you guys. It's on there, super chill, okay? Sorry for the shakiness of this, guys. But boom, scope that out. So this is the top of the Tesla. The Tesla has all kind of glass on the ceiling. So um, I would put this maybe back in here and then it gives me more room to articulate and to move around wherever I need my camera to go. So I can go forward, back, side. So once you kind of have it in a spot, say over here, then you can kind of put it anywhere. Um, and you can kind of move your camera wherever you need to, film it upside down. I haven't filmed upside down on this camera yet. I don't know if it'll automatically film for me. So we'll find that out. If not, it's just a quick edit to, to kind of turn it around. So guys, that's the Fat Gecko dual mount. Like I said, there is a triple mount. This is great for mirrorless cameras, GoPros. I, I think they even make a single mount for like GoPros. You don't anything crazy. This will also stick onto the dash right here as well. So if you guys have a GoPro or you're filming multiple things or maybe throw it on a window, 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 um, cars like these are amazing for it, but you can also put it outside as well, maybe showing perspectives of videos, something behind. Also, this would work great for a um, dash cam as well. They do have some suction cups, so maybe you're throwing it in the back, or you have a surface on the top where you can flatten it out. Um, and always a good cheat, of course, is, is taking like a metal piece, um, sticking it onto anything, and then putting this on. So uh, let me know what you guys think if you guys have one of these, um, but so far it's just hanging right here. It, it works pretty well and I'm excited to get some perspective videos like how the autopilot works and all that stuff for you guys. Hope you're having a good day. I will talk to you next.